Hey everybody, welcome back to Satisfactory. There goes our truck off into the distance. It is struggling, <laughs> let me tell you. I think this is too sharp a corner for it. Um, it just fell off the cliff right before I started, so not off to a fantastic start. Anyhow, that aside, it is delivering coal, which is really all we need it to do, so I'll call that a win in the grand scheme of things. And uh, now that we have coal here, I think it's time that we think about hooking up all these belts and making some steel. That sounds like a swell idea to me, so let's do that. But before we do that, as usual, this evening we are drinking a Lickin' Lizard Doggo. Lickin' Lizard Doggo is gin, a peach schnapps, uh, mango juice, and some... Oh no, come on brain. Aperol. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, uh, it's late. It's late and brain brain is in bed already, even though I'm not. Okay. So how does hooking stuff up here work? That is a swell question. So we are gonna have three lines coming in. Let's put the holes where the lines are going to be. I guess it's technically going to be two lines coming in. Because we're going to have coal as well as oh, I forgot this wall again. Coal's coming in as well as iron. This is going to be an absolute spaghetti disaster of belts. I can see it now. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Now the other issue... No, you're going to be weird, eh? Okay. These will update once <laughs> once I walk away from them, but they are they are yellow. Yeah. Um, the other issue: the coal coming out of here has to be split into three evenly. So I can't like have a splitter here, have a splitter here, have a splitter here. It's got to be even, and that's going to be kind of tricky. Or is it? Maybe it won't. I don't know. Let's let's see how this goes. Let's put a splitter here. Let's see how tricky this actually is. It may not be. You are not aligned. In the slightest. Why did you snap? You know what? This corner is going to be too much. Whoa. Also too high apparently. Okay. In that case we'll use the bottom one. So you're still too far. Right? Okay, come on, come on, we can do it. Let's let's just do this. Yep, that's perfect. Oh, the old truck is back. Dare dare we watch how this how this pans out? Oh, it's a showdown. Yeah, I can't make this corner. It didn't fall off the edge this time. Last time it just went straight and just like off into the abyss. I mean, all things considered, that was pretty good. Alright, back to this. Um Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be tricky. Yeah, this is gonna be tricky. How are we gonna do this? So I don't want to be in the way of our iron lines. Let's just start like this. Uh, we'll do Mark III conveyors for now. Okay. Oh, of course I built it backwards. I mean, 
that angle worked out pretty sweet. Uh, I think we will do another march reconveyor right here. Okay. Sure. This side is where things are going to get interesting. I could potentially have these lines come in at that height. In which case, I can put the belt, this belt, here. Let's see if that works. Okay, now all we gotta do is get iron ingots in here somehow. Um, and I am gonna do this trick again, because I like how it lines up. Not that it's really a trick, but... And you do have to be Mark IV belts. Before this truck comes back, let's do this one too. You are going the wrong way. I bet you these are all going the wrong way. I'm not even going to check. I'm just going to delete them. So I'm like 90% sure I did that backwards. Alright, there we go. And there we go. Good stuff. Now what? <laughs> um, yeah, why don't you come here? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh, truck, come on, man. Made up no problem before. There you go. Cool. This one. merger because if you're a merger I might do this a little differently I think you are no you are not that's the is this not a merger I'm confused what's happening here Oh, it's a merger, right, of course. So all the sides are inlets. Right, 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 right. Okay, then you know what? Let's not be too fancy for our own good here. That's easy enough. The conveyor belt is too long. Says who? Really? Oh no. Okay, well, there you go. And you are the last one. Oh, but you're over here. Interesting. I am running out of in case beams. 
Now this one is definitely not making it. <laughs> yeah. Over here though. Sure. Um, you know what? No, that's that's scary. I don't like that. I'm afraid the truck is going to hit that. Let's do that. What the truck might hit this? We're changing this. I'm pretty sure the truck's been by a couple times since I built it, but I don't trust that. plug things in. I see you can change colors now. <laughs> Alright. Coal on top, iron on the bottom, I guess. down here. What else do I need? Nothing really. Just the beams. Okay. Well, that's easy. Oh, dear. Okay, we're going to have to make steel beams because we are running out, which means we got to think about making concrete. Which means we got to figure out where the closest concrete node is, and I think it is that one that's way over there. Which is not ideal. Okay. These belts will probably have to change a little bit. Because we're gonna have to merge. We're gonna have to merge some other belts into them. I'm doing this not correct. You do not come in here. These guys are going to the roof. Yeah, I've done this completely wrong. <laughs> oh no. Um, the iron is fine. This is not fine. This is completely unnecessary. All this coal. Um, this coal is going across on one belt. Okay. Okay. I am going to leave these. No, I'm not going to leave them. I will change the wall holes. For these ones, at least, because it makes sense. This one... Oh, God, I gotta do them all. So I forgot that these belts are just the top-up... The, t the coal belts coming out of the truck station are just the top-up belts, basically. Um, 
And because they're just the top of bells, it means the coal is actually going to be on the bottom. Yes. Um, the truck belt is going to come in all the way to the middle section there, and that's where it's going to come down and merge. So we don't have to worry about that until that time. There we go. Cool. And, yeah, we're making some steel now. Fun times. Uh, let's get rid of some of these iron bars in my inventory. Okay. There we go. How badly is our power tanking? That's yeah, not really. So, next. Let's get this stuff put down. nicely in the wall. Excellent. So. Coal. Why don't we bring coal in over here where it's close. Yes. Let's bring it right up near the roof. Uh, did that actually paint? No. Okay. Are you gonna make this then? You did! Good job, Cole! <laughs> okay, sweet. Coal's gotta come all the way down here. Oh, right. That is a thing. Okay. five. Whoops. Thought I was looking a little slanty. So you go here. And we still have to do that split, that equal split, which is going to be kind of tricky again. Especially in here where there's even more limited space. I'm not exactly sure how we're going to do that yet. That's fine. This is iron. Let's get these. Let's get these run. Okay. Yes. Very nice. What now? <laughs> We need to figure out some way to get these coal lines in here nicely. Also, I'm going to do something here. It's going to look kind of goofy, but it's going to be necessary. Oh, it's going to be hard, though. I wanted to put lifts so we can actually walk through this section. Because otherwise the coal line is going to be like across the floor here. Which is 
a bit of a pain. Can I just like, can I just do like a ramp? Yeah, okay, this could work. Let's just see. Do I, do I block my head? No. Okay, perfect. In that case, it's staying right where it is. We can build a fancy ramp. Cool. Well, that's easy. Oh, I'm out. I am out of encased beams. That's bad. Because so I'm going to forget to come back here and fix all this. All right. Let's, for now... Let's do this for now. Let's get all these belts run. You know what? You, because the door is right there, you can go over the door. Okay. Cool. And way down over here <laughs> let's put some assemblers making our encased beams now did I unlock the alternate encased beam recipe I haven't okay well I guess we are getting our ma'am going because I want the encased beam from pipe recipe that is an integral part of this steel facility. So, go. Okay. Each of you can go into an assembler. That is not how this works. Shoot. Okay. This is so Mickey Mouse. Uh, okay. I don't know how many I'm getting a minute. But let's let's juice this boy up. We need steel beams fast. Uh twenty four beams. So that's a that's a bit aggressive. Sure. There we go. Oh yes. Power would be good. Boom. Okay. So now that that's an issue, why don't we Oh my god, these are already all full, eh? Wow, that did not take very long. In that case, you can go in the trash. We need to figure out concrete. Because I do not have enough concrete to manually feed this crap. <laughs> um, but before we figure out concrete, i got to figure out coal. Because we need to keep that in case beam manufacturer going. So, yeah. The old chain reaction of disaster. So, let's, this is right in the middle of the room, let's build 8,000 splitters. Okay. I hate it. 
Height. Stop. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, what a disaster. This is this is this issue is going to plague us for the rest of the playthrough, too. It's just remote building stuff and running out of resources. I'm really going to have to make sure I... Like, have the stuff, basically. <laughs> I've really got to make sure I have everything I need on the building train before I leave for these jobs. 37 and a half. You need 48. 36. Well, there you go. Okay. Mark for a bell. Now. So, I'm thinking we're going to split this, bring it down, into here, into a splitter. So, let's do that. And this can be Mark 3. Okay. And we'll put a merger... Yeah? Yes. What did I do? Oh, the merger's not facing the right direction. What would it be? Okay. Okay. I mean, all of these hiccups aside, we are making steel. Like, the inaugural steel has happened. I mean, that's pretty exciting. Okay, there we go. Um, let's go nab another mip full of encased beams. Same thing, but slightly different. Right here. Perfect. I need to figure out how high that is. So that should be eight higher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That looks sorta of correct. A Okay. I thought for a second I put it on the, uh, like, the steel line, the output line. That would have been real bad. You go there. You go there. Cool. Oh, I made that mark. Mark three backs, or mark four backs. Uh, that is unnecessary. Are you marked four? But you are, and you do not need to be. 
These beams are too important to be squandering about stuff like that. Alright. So let's do this one more time. Two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five. There we go. Cool. So yeah, that's that's our truck stop. It's going. All we're going to have to do is get our train lines well sorry our belts from our trains hooked up and it's going to be a similar sort of deal there's going to be mergers coming into these iron yeah these iron conveyors um from our iron train and our main iron is coming in here. Yeah, it's looking good. Oh, yeah, I have to run our coal from our train over to here and then up into these things. So, yeah. It is It is looking good, though. We are making progress, and that is great. The only thing holding us back is in-case beams, but, I mean, we're working on it. <laughs> okay. Concrete. So, concrete is going to happen uh, over here. going to happen right over here on this thing now a couple things first off hey my truck hello truck this is not going to be enough to support our steel industry um it's a start but it's not enough second i realized that i haven't done the second part of our silo blueprint um, our silo blueprint is what we're making our concrete in, and it's to fully utilize um, 480 concrete per minute, or limestone per minute, I guess, is what's going on here. We need to have both parts of a blueprint functioning. I'm going to change this angle just a little bit. Yeah. I'll show you what I mean. So, we have this blueprint here. Uh, actually, you know I'm going to go up here and do this. We have our fancy concrete blueprint right here. However, this is only supporting 240 concrete per minute. So we gotta change that up. And basically we change that by adding another one of these silos on here. The only issue is, is I haven't made that blueprint yet. And we are gonna go do that now. All that we gotta do is just, we gotta load this blueprint, erase this junk from the middle here, and then that'll be our second half. Cause we can just flip that around and everything will work perfectly. And that's why I built this blueprint designer down here. Um, also, speaking of running out of items, I realize we're running out of cable, so I have a cable manufacturer here as well. Uh, or cable constructor. We're running out of all the things. Okay. So, let's... Oh yeah, you'll notice uh, going over the distance. My power towers. That's going over to where we're doing our Caterium wire over there. Uh, okay. First off, don't stand on the blueprint designer when you're loading blueprints. Secondly, this should have been in refining. I should not have saved it where I saved it. So, can I change the directory of you to refining? No, I can't. Okay. Apply. I would like you to go to here. But how do I do that? Concrete silos, main... If I call it like main side... Can I change a new directory? Because it's got... No, I, it's because it's the same blueprint. Changing the name doesn't do anything. So, concrete silos main, sure, that's fine.
Uh, sorry. Confirm. What we want to do is modify this blueprint now. Okay. And this will make sure we put in the right directory. And then we don't want any of this. There we go. That's our second side. And we can call that concrete silos second. And I would like to put it in refining here. Okay. Say, cool. Let's clear the designer. Give me my junk back. Let's load a blueprint. Let's load concrete silos main. Yes. We're going to modify this slightly so I can change the directory. Let's put a ladder on this side too. And maybe because the blueprint's different, it will let me save it. Okay. Set the directory. No, you're not going to let me, eh? Refining. Just go here, man. Do I need to change the blueprint too? Concrete silo primary. I don't understand. So how can I change the recipe to make this? It would let me just clear the desire. God damn it. Let me out of here. I'm done. Get go away. I don't I don't know why sometimes I can change the directions. Sometimes I can't. Maybe I have to like Oh, I wonder if like I erase a part that's in the blueprint, maybe? Who knows? Not me. That's for damn sure. Whatever. I can just deal with it being a s deal with the wrong directory, I guess. I'll be fine. Alright. Now, let's see how this looks. Can we make this work? Even my blueprint. Second. No. You what are you what are you snapping to? Oh my god. Okay, first off, what side are the holes on? That's the door, so the holes are here. Oh, you're not going to want to play nice either. No, this was supposed to be all easy. Uh, now it's not. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, you know you want to snap in here. I know you can do it. So is this because it's a different blueprint? It's snapping all crazy now? I don't know. Yeah, it's not even on the grid. Huh. What if I gave you a foundation to sit on? Would that make you happy? You'd snap a bit better, it looks like. Oh, you want to snap like that. Hmm. We can do that. We can make that work. We can accommodate. Okay. truck face come by here good job truck face okay come on you were doing it before not what now you don't want to snap here 
Oh, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Yes. Okay. So, it doesn't go together quite as nicely as the towers, the smelting towers, but... I mean, it kind of worked. Okay. You know what? We're going to get rid of this, too. Beautiful. Now, all we got to do... this up and we should be good and we gotta do this one more time at the next concrete area wherever that is I do not know where that is oh you're too close seriously lame really How about that slope? I'm good with that, eh? Okay, cool. I've already slugged you out, so that's good. And yeah, there's our first concrete. It's gonna be a bit of a hike getting it back to um, where it's gotta go. are all yellow. Alright, looking nice. <sighs> Do I have the stuff to build another one of these? I don't think so. I think I am out of... Yeah, reinforced plates. And I don't think I have any reinforced plates. Which is awkward. Uh, before we do that, though, where is the next concrete node? Right over here. Okay, nice. So it's not too far. It's not too close, but it's not too far. <laughs> oh, jeez, it's pretty far. Okay, that's fine. We'll make it work. Uh, I do need to figure out what we're doing about... these plates though I don't think I have plates on the train I'm gonna put it in a pause and see if I have plates on the train and if not then something cool is gonna happen I don't know what pause all right Adding to the list of temporary things that we did not bring enough of is plates. <laughs> Reinforced plates. So, welcome to the scene. The Reinforced Plates Assembler. Ooh, Stitch Plates. Why do you make a minute? Yeah, let's do that. Copper is way easier to build than screws. Sweet. Okay. We're going to let that run for a little bit. And uh, while that's running, let's slug it out too. We're going to have all day here. While that's running, let's maybe look at getting our station stuff plugged in. Actually, you know what? I got a better idea. Do I have a better idea? Yeah, I do have a better idea. Let's get this train running. How about that? Okay. You are all set to unload, yes? Unload. 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 Okay. Let's get this train running. Um, to do that... 
I can do it from here, or I can do it from the station. Timetable. Trains. Okay. Forward, reserve, train menu. There we go. We need to name this train, because I'm going to get... There's going to be a bunch of trains on this map, and I'm going to be confused if I can't see it. So this is going to be steel delivery train. Um... Yeah, so this train is coming. Can I scroll the map? This train is going here. Coal and iron loading is where it's going. So let's call it the coal iron train. Iron and coal train. Well, it's obviously a train that's redundant. Iron and coal. Okay. So that's coal. Okay, let's call it coal and iron then. Fine. Coal and iron. Cool. So you are going to... Oh, first off, let's make sure you're... Yep, okay. You are going to coal and iron loading. Yep. And then you are going to... Um, steel delivery, which is going to be renamed to coal and iron delivery. Yes. That's it. That's all you got to do. Can you manage that? Save. Uh, okay. Let me out. Timetable. Parked. Okay, cool. Um... It's going to go though, right? No, it's not, because it's trying to go to that station. Um, no, yes, no, I don't know. Let's rename the station. Coal, iron delivery, boom, and go. No? Coal, iron, Delivery, coal, iron, loading. Yeah, man, go. Oh, turn on self-drive. Ah, I'm good. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> okay. I'm not completely hopeless yet. And there goes our first automated train of the series. Good times. Okay, sweet. So just, just to show you where that, that station is. Um, oh, can I show you here now? Yeah, I can. So this is the, the rocky desert. So here's my coal power generating area. And it's just down here. There's, there's four coal seams and one iron. Or four coal nodes and one iron node. The iron node is being split into these last three. And the four coal are being split into these three here. So, yeah. These first three are our coal. These last three are our iron. So we got to keep that in mind as we go forward here. And I think now is the time to go forward. Unless, of course, we somehow have more concrete, which is possible. Or not concrete. Oh god, don't go that way. We have enough plates. Which is possible. It's yellow. I mean, that usually means it's full. So let's go see. Maybe we can look at building that secondary concrete setup. We are out of plates. Okay, cool. But we do have 60 of these. You take 33. You take 35. 68. Okay, cool. Um, well, let's, let's... I know we only have to wait like another like 10 seconds, but I don't have time for that. Let's look at getting our trains unloaded. So, first off, cool. 
Coal needs to come all the way back to here. And probably it's going to come in here. Just like that. Sure. Ah, I'm lost. And you know what? We are going to do this. Just to keep it orderly. And this is going to really drain. No, my guy. No, not like that. Like this. This is going to absolutely devastate our <laughs> our supply of um, encased beams. Okay, now I'm going to stay on this train track for a little bit. Generally not a smart idea, but right now it's got to happen. Let's do this one first. No, just snap normally. Come on. Yes. Okay. And yes. And you know what? You will fit the other direction, so let's make it the other direction. Look like caterpillars. Come on. Oh my god. What happened? Oh, I didn't build you the right height. That's my bad. Okay. And this is coal. Which is going to be tricky because iron is at the back. In hindsight, I should have done this differently. But I didn't. So here we are. Um, do I need... Whoa. Our train's back already? That was quick. Oh, shit. It is. Go, train, go. Oh, super fast. Cool, man. Okay, I just want to make sure I keep space here for my iron. And honestly, <laughs> I am probably going to stick the iron on one belt coming out of these train stations. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea having it on three different train stations. Because I only need... Oh, I screwed this up. I only need... Um, what did I say? 160 extra iron per minute? I feel like three train stations might be overkill for that, that number. Call me crazy, but... Seems like it's a bit much. Okay, let's work from this way. One, two, three. You are all iron, yes? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay. And you are my tasty, tasty gold. Cool. Cool. You go there. Fit. Oh, you do. That's fantastic. Let's go suck up some more in-case beams. Thank you. You can have some more concrete while we're here. Facing the other direction. 
Like so. Okay. Oh god, I'm out of beams. That sucks. Okay. We're going up. I want to do this one section out of encased beams. Just because they're right here, and I'm sure I have enough to do it. And then we'll do the, the other section out of uh, something else until we get more encased beams, basically. Okay. Cool. So you go as far as you can. Yeah. Mark 3 will be fine. Yeah, there's a little clipping through the rock, but we're just not going to look at that. Okay. Now, just out of curiosity, how much is that? 16. Do I have 16 beams up here? I feel like the answer is no. Nope, I have 7. 8. Two more. We'll wait. All right. There we go. Now, let's get these things going to where they gotta go with the incorrect belts, shall we? That sounds like a swell idea. Oh, also, I realized in between episodes, I had hooked up the uh, the outputs across this gap as well. There's That is not gonna work. Each of these outputs is 480. Because it's 60 steel per minute, and there's 8 foundries. So yeah, there's no way we can hook that into there. These are all going to have to go to where we're making the, uh, the actual components, which is going to be upstairs. So that's how that's working. Ooh, these autosaves are getting mighty big. Okay, how do we want to do this? I think... Just out of curiosity. Are you still powered? You are. Yes, yeah, because they're all connected down here. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm running out of jetpack fuel too. I'm going to have to go back to the main base at some point. Back to central processing. basically how we're doing that and there's coal that is our coal line set up and balanced now for this this battery and it's going to be the coal line for all these batteries set up and balanced in a second here See, this can just come along the wall, I think. Yeah. <laughs> um, to right here? Perhaps? Maybe? Maybe. I feel like this is not going to work. Yeah, I kind of want to. We'll take it. Cool. There's coal. How much time we got? We're going to go a little bit over time. We're going to get this iron hooked in as well. The iron should not be as complicated. Although, looking at it, it might be. So you know what? We're not going to do iron now. 
How are we doing? Yeah, you know what? We are going to do iron now. <laughs> um, how How is that going to happen? I think iron can come right through here. Iron can definitely not come right through there. My god. Sure. That was like a great spot for iron to come from. Okay. Uh, give me one of these. And iron is going to be... Coal's at level f 4, right? Yeah. So I think iron is going to be at level 3. And iron doesn't have to be... Oh, we're just going to do one belt for this, right? That's what we decided? I think that's what we decided. Um, so yeah, then we're not going to do this like this. Let's, let's go down. So three translations of iron, definitely overkill, but I don't know. Just be safe. So iron, yes. And iron, oh my god. Needs to sneak up into here somehow. Oh boy. Yeah, this might work. Oh, I couldn't be in a worse spot on the foundation, though. That's brutal. What's up here? Of course. <laughs> okay. Iron, where can we sneak you up? What's over here? I should probably hook this thing up, too, eh? Hmm. Someone went and built all these giant belts through here. Making it mighty tricky to get iron up. Okay, let's try let's let's work at it from this direction. <laughs> we'll we'll figure something out. I know I completely have just ignored my concrete, but we'll be back. Iron. Okay, I think we can make something work here. So let's do this. Oh. Okay, let's do this. How horrible does this look? Eh, moderately. Moderately horrible. I believe is how that would be described. Okay, then let's do this. Let's not get run over by the train. Um, yes, that's exactly what I wanted. No, but here though. Okay, you're going the wrong direction, which is swell. Okay, we can make this work. Um. 
to make this work. I think we want this to go like this. Sure. That's probably the wrong direction. It is. Every time. Okay. Yes. Okay, that was actually way easier than I was expecting. I don't know what all the struggle was about. That's that's totally fine. Okay, so you go away. We do not need you. I mean, it's a little goofy coming up here, but that's fine. Um. Now what we can do is just put mergers on all these and just run this belt the whole way across. That's super easy. Um, now it's not gonna... I have to build it like this, which is not really how I like to build it, but it'll work. I think it'll work. <laughs> I think it'll work. Now you are not connected for some reason. Because this merger is weird. Why would the merger sit like that on the belt? That's how they work, is the answer. They don't split off in multiple directions like that. Okay, fair enough. So this is not going to be as easy as I was hoping. You go there. What's the best way to do this? I think it's like this. Yeah, I think it's like this. Okay. Um, give me a Mark III belt. Take it all the way across. The belt is too long, you say. Ah, I don't believe you, sir. It's just barely too long. Fine. Um. Okay. Well, actually, this one's easy. This just goes like this. Boom. So all that wall nonsense was nonsense. You go there. Cool. Uh, you are going to have to move. Because what we're going to do is split this and merge it. So we're going to split it here. Sure. Probably should have built the the lift first. There we go. And then you can go in there. Yeah. See, that's not so complicated. 
Okay, let's do that one more time right here. And hopefully we didn't do something silly like build this too close. We didn't. Good job, us. Pretty sure this is not on the right level. It is not. Is that because this is slanted? It is. Very good. Is it slanted all the way from there? It is. Excellent. <sighs> I gotta go to bed. <laughs> oh my god. I oh, erased the wall behind it too. Awesome. Okay. Is there any chance you were lined up now? Or level, I should say. Are you level? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Split. Lift. Merge. Boom. Split. Lift. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> okay. We did it. The foundries are plumbed and working, and everything is magical and golden and great. And when we come back, we're going to have to get our concrete, our other concrete hooked up, and we're going to start building the machines that we need to do all that good stuff. Um. However, in between episodes, I am going to make a run back to our main base because we need everything. We need everything. Everything is required. We need to go do that and get everything. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go do that. So, until next episode, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. We'll see you next time. Cheers.